This feeling sorry for yourself shit needs to fucking stop, man. It's your boy, nerdy white guy. Nerdy, nerdy white guy. I'll put you in a motherfucking coffin, my guy. He's so dope. Nerdy white guy. Nerdy, nerdy white guy. My prayers got answered, dude. <laughs> this is white, dude. Nerdy white guy. Nerdy, nerdy white guy. We're gonna get this shit started, though. Nerdy gang. Nerdy, nerdy gang. Nerdy gang. We all know people that have been through like actual hard times, right? People who have been through struggles and they just can't quite get out, right? And we don't know how to help them. We don't know what to do. We don't know what to say. But isn't it crazy? The same people that are always having hard times, always this stuff, they're also the ones that always feel bad for themselves and always blame other people for their problems. Now, dude, there are life circumstances that happen. Okay, everyone deals with them. Everything happens to somebody. Sometimes we get knocked down. Sometimes it takes us a while to get back up. Some of these assholes just want to stay knocked down though, bro. And I just do not understand it. Oh, woe is me. I can't, I can't get paid more at my job. I can't do this. I can't do that. You know, oh, it must be nice being you. This Dude, just a whole bunch of different shit that people say just to make them feel more comfortable about the reasons why they are failing. Let's be perfectly honest here. The reason why somebody fails is because of them. There is no other reason for it. So when somebody fails and you hear them blaming somebody else, oh, it's their fault, they didn't pay me, they didn't do this, they didn't do that, they, 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 and they never point the finger at themselves, and they keep on getting fucked over, and they keep on getting fucked up, they keep on going down the bad path. You can't blame nobody else but yourself. The common denominator of all this fucked up shit is you, your actions, your problems. Some of the greatest people, some of the greatest stories have came from underdogs and people making a comeback. When they get knocked down, they make a comeback and they become something different. They let that pain turn into something that is just more. You could take almost any great person and find a tragedy in their story or a time or a place or whatever that could have held them back and kept them becoming from either successful, well-known, or the hero that they are either to you, me, or somebody else. I'm not the biggest NBA fan, right? But look at LeBron James, right? He came from fucking Akron, Ohio, all right? He grew up without his father, just his mom, ended up developing his skills. When he was, I wanna say, a junior, Maybe it was a sophomore. He wasn't even the best player on his team. But it became with the work and the effort in order for it to fucking become something bigger. There was a drive inside that boy made by that shit. By his dad not being there. By him growing up in the fucking hood. By his mom not having shit. That's what drives people. What drives me is trying to provide for my family. I want to create a legacy. Now, I don't know if my family's going to watch this or not, and this might be something that, that hurts some of my family members' feelings, but it, it's just facts, right? So my uncle, he was probably the good child, the one that would have been successful, the one that would have had great aspirations, who would have done amazing things. He ended up passing away. Now, my dad, he's a great man, right? But he didn't leave a great legacy. So what I need to do, I need to create a legacy. I need to create a good name for my Huber fucking family crest. That's why I do this. That's why I work so hard. I do these videos. I do a business. I take care of my babies. My kids see me for a couple hours every day while I'm doing all this shit. And dude, is it easy? No, not at all. There are days where I just want to pull my fucking hair out and I want to start beating on shit. You know, and someday I do beat on shit just to fucking get it out. But I don't quit. I don't fucking tarnish myself. I don't do anything bad to the point where it's going to make me take a step backwards. And I for sure as hell ain't going to blame anybody for any of my problems. It's not their problems. It's not their fault why my situation might be a little fucked up. Even if it was their fault, say someone does fuck me over, dude, you will never hear me blame my situation on them. 
I got people that owe me money. I don't give a fuck. I'm never going to talk to them again. That money was well spent. It showed me what type of person they were. Done. Like, I'm not going to blame people for certain shit. Especially when it has to do with my life, my success, my future. Shit drives me crazy that people do that. So why do people blame other people, huh? Honestly, I don't know. But I can maybe take a good guess, right? It's one, they don't want to admit that they fucked up. That they're the ones that did something wrong. That, you know, that their judgment was bad. This or that, you know. It, it's basically an ego thing. They just don't want to admit that they were wrong, man. Another one, bro, is probably fear. Fear of becoming something. Maybe you came from shit. Maybe you've been told your whole life you ain't gonna be shit. Bro, that is not fact. You know, so then when you adapt that shit, guess what? You, you won't be shit. It's facts of life. But bro, you're something.